Welcome to PLZ Soccer, this is your Scottish News Bulletin. Celtic moved to the top of the Premiership for the first time this season, but were frustrated by a determined Livingston as they drew 0-0 yesterday. It seemed that Celtic were feeling the strains of their Thursday night Europa League exploits, but they still forced goalkeeper Liam Kelly to make several key saves. Hoops defender Christopher Ayer suffered a broken eye socket after a collision with Livy captain Craig Halkett, and he will require surgery resulting in a lengthy spell on the sidelines. Manager Brendan Rodgers felt that Livy forward Dolly Menga was very, very lucky to stay on the pitch after he appeared to gesture his head towards Ryan Christie in the first half. Menga will face a trial by TV from an SFA compliance officer after the incident was missed by referee Kevin Clancy. Rangers thumped 10-man Motherwell 7-1 yesterday and moved up to third place in the Premiership, only two points off first place. Carl McHugh received two first-half yellow cards, with Eros Grezda scoring his first two goals for the club, as well as a double from Scott Arfield. Jers boss Stephen Gerrard said he asked his players to be ruthless at half-time and that seeing other teams around them drop points spurred his players on to victory. However, Motherwell manager Stephen Robinson said that the first of Carl McHugh's two bookings were a disgrace and implied that Alfredo Morelos conned the referee to ensure that McHugh was cautioned. And there have been several ins and outs to Scotland's squad to face Albania and Israel over the next week. David Bates, Ryan Jack, Scott McTominay and goalkeeper Scott Bain have all been called up as Craig Gordon, Charlie Mulgrew, Kevin MacDonald and Stephen O'Donnell all pulled out through injury. And a quick look over Monday morning's papers. The record's headline is Higher and Ayer. The Sun have My Blue 7 and the Daily Mail go for Ayer Anguish. Stay with me on PLZ Soccer where I'll bring you the latest Scottish, English and world football news throughout the entire day before Barry Ferguson joins Peter and Ruffy on the football show at 6.